Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello, my dear girls. How are you? Hope all of you are very well. This is the online class of Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School, and it's me, Mushfiq Akhtar Chaudhary here. Welcome to the class. Our today's class is for the students of class eight, and the subject is English, English for today. So let's get started. Now, from this video, can you guess what our today's topic? I'm sure you can. Yes, it's about Bangkok, Thailand. Our today's topic is Unit 6, Going on a Foreign Trip, Lesson 7, Reaching Bangkok, and Lesson 8, The Destination. Dear girls, after the class, we will be able to read for information, listen to and follow announcements, read and understand texts, write answers to questions. Dear students, let's check the new words that you may encounter in the text. Here is a list of some new words. Our first word is derived. And can you guess what is the meaning of derived? Derived means formed or developed from something. Our second word is parallel. Is it known to you parallel? Parallel means being an equal distance apart everywhere. Our third word is cargo. And cargo means freight carried by a ship, an aircraft or another vehicle. Our fourth word is capacity. And it means the ability to hold something that is such as storage capacity. And our last word is fascinate. Fascinate means to attack the interest or grip the attention. So, these are the new words. Okay, so here is a text for us. We have to read the text and then we have to do some exercises based on this text. So, at first let us read the text. The plane landed at Shuvarnabhumi airport at 4.55 p.m. The name Shubarnabhumi is pronounced as Suvannabhum. The name is derived from Sanskrit, which means golden land. The name was chosen by King Bhumibal Adulyate. The airport is located in Rachatewa, in the Bankfli district of Samut Prakan province. 
30 kilometers east of Bangkok. The airport has two parallel runways. Both of them are 60 meter wide. One of the runways is 4000 meters long and the other is 3700 meters. It can handle 76 flight operations per hour. It can handle 45 million passengers and 3 million tons of cargo per year. The airport passenger terminal is 563,000 square meters that is 6 million 60,000 square feet. It is the fourth biggest passenger terminal building in the world. The airport is going through phase 2. It will raise its capacity to handle 65 million passengers per year. The airport has two five-story car park buildings. The buildings can house 5,000 cars. So dear students, this is the reading text. Uh, do you have any problem in this text? I hope not. So let's go to the exercise. So this is the exercise. This is an information filling exercise. We have two columns on the screen. In one column, we have been given some uh, topics or points on Bangkok airport. And in the second column, we have to fill the related informations. So dear girls, let's get started. At first, what's the name of Bangkok airport? Can you remember what's the name of Bangkok airport? Yes, it's Shuvarnabhumi airport. Number two, origin of the name. Yes, it's derived from Sanskrit. Number three, chosen by. Who choose the name of the airport, okay? It's King Bhumibal Adulade. Number four, meaning. What's the meaning of this name? Yes, Shubarnabhumi Airport. That means, Shubarnabhumi means golden land. And number five, distance from Bangkok. And what's the correct information, dear girls? It's 30 kilometers. And in the reading text, we have some information about the runways of Bangkok Airport. Yes, it has two runways. Now, point number seven, length of runways. Can you remember, girls? What's the length of the runways? The first one is 4,000 meters and the second one is 3,700 meters. Point number eight, aircraft control per hour. And what's the information related to this? Yes, mm, it's, uh, it can handle 76 flight operations per hour. Uh, point number nine, number of passengers. And it can handle 45 million passengers per year. Number 10, cargo handled. And uh, what's the information related to cargo handling? Yes, 3 million tons of cargo per year it can handle. Number 11, car parking. And the information is, it has two five-story car parking. Point number 12, number of passengers in future. Dear girls, can you remember what's the plan of uh, raising the number of passengers in future? Yes, it will raise its capacity to handle 65 million passengers per year. And this is the activity on the basis of the reading text. Okay.
Unit 6. Lesson 7. C. Reaching Bangkok. Suvarna Bhumi Airport operates 24 hours. It has 130 passport control checkpoints for arrivals, 72 for departures. 26 customs control checkpoints for arrivals, 8 for departures. 22 baggage conveyor belts. 360 check-in counters. There are 100 additional counters for passengers without luggage. 107 moving walkways. 102 elevators. 83 escalators. Now, here is an exercise for you. You have to choose the correct information from your listening. So, let's try to do it, okay? Shubhanubhumi Airport has checkpoints for arrival. The options are 130, 131, 132. Dear students, which one is the correct answer? Yes, it's 130 checkpoints for arrival. Exercise number 2. Checkpoints for departures. The options are 70, 71 and 72. Dear students, which one is the correct one? Yes, it's 72 checkpoints for departures. Exercise number 3. Custom control checkpoints for arrivals. And the options are 25, 26, 27. And which one is the correct one? 26 is the correct information. Exercise number 4. The custom control checkpoints for departures. And the number options are 4, 6, 8. Dear students, what do you think? Which one is the correct one? Yes, the custom control checkpoints for departures are 8. Number 5. Baggage conveyor belts and the options are 20, 22, 24 and the correct answer is 22. Then exercise number 6. What is the correct number of check-in counters? 360, 361, 362 and the correct information is yes you are right. It's 360. Exercise number 7. The number of moving walkways and the uh, number options are 106, 107 and 108. And the correct information 107. Uh, dear girls, uh, exercise number 8. The number of elevators. And the options are 102, 103, 104. And the correct answer is, it's 102 elevators. And exercise number 9, escalators. And the options are 81, 82 and 83. Dear girls, which one is the correct option of the number of escalators in Shubhanubhumi Airport? Yes, the correct number is 83. So, this is the exercise based on the listening part. Okay. We have already finished lesson 7 and we are now in a new lesson that is lesson 8 and the name of the lesson is the destination. At the beginning of this lesson, we have a gap filling activity for you. Read the text below and complete it with the right form of verb from the box. You can use one verb more than once if necessary. 
and the given verbs are be, wait, give, excited, not, go, hold, take, write, stand. And the passage is Mita was dash to see such a big airport. After completing immigration, they all came out of the airport. Mr. Mazharul Islam dashed to the taxi counter and bought a ticket. They stood in a line and dash for their turn. Soon their taxi came and they all got into it. Mitha's uncle dashed the driver his address. Happy Kondo, 18 Rachada Pisek Road. The driver dash and started for the destination. Mita dash very excited. She dash Zara's hand and whispered, Oh Zara, I can believe I am here with you and I am so happy. Mita had never dash a car such a high speed. She dash a little scared. Each dash about one and a half hours to reach their destination. Mita's uncle paid the driver according to the meter. The driver dashed out their luggage, thanked Mr. Islam and drove away. So dear girls, this is the right form of verb activity and you have to do it after the class. Okay, let's move to the next part of the lesson. Okay, we have another reading text here. So we have to read the text and answer the following questions. So let's start reading. Mita looked around and saw a garden of trees and flowers welcoming her. There was a small fountain at the middle of the garden, bringing in cool breeze. Mita loved the place. Mita brought a suitcase as well as a piece of carry-on luggage. She carried her luggage to the elevator and pressed a button that said six. Her uncle's apartment was on the seventh floor. It was a nicely done two bedroom apartment. Mita and Zara were going to share the same room. It was nearly 8 p.m. when they all got settled. They finished dinner and started to plan for the next day. Mita read about the floating market in the internet and wanted to see one. Well, then you have to wake up very early tomorrow. The market sits early in the morning and is over before noon. We are going to the Thakha floating market tomorrow, said Mr. Islam. Wow, cried out Mita and Zara together. Thank you, uncle. Thank you, dad. So, dear students, uh, this is the reading text of lesson 8. Hope you all have understood it. Okay. Now we have some questions to answer. And uh, these are the questions. Question number 1. Why did Mita think that the garden was welcoming her? Question number 2. When did they all start to plan for the next day? Question number three, what did they plan to see? And question number four, why would Mita and Zara wake up early in the morning? Dear students, you have to write down the answers of the questions in your homework copy. The last two exercises, that is the right form of verb exercise and these question answers are the homeworks of this class. Okay, So you have to do it after the class. And this all for today. So stay healthy, stay safe and don't forget to follow the rules of health. Goodbye dear girls.